Hi, my name is Ty Tessman, and today we're going to do the first video in a series on how to get the most out of your nitro engine as far as power and fuel mileage goes. So there's many things that affect the power and fuel mileage, but probably the most important and often the most rushed or taken shortcuts with is the break-in. So that's one of the things that is very important to take your time with to do. I have a couple of videos already on how to do that properly. Um, and then we have um, a few more things like the clutch setup, which that's what we're going to be doing today, trying to get your clutch assembled and set up properly. So first thing I'm going to do is clean off the collet. I'm going to take a, a pipe cleaner, fold it up a couple times, and then work it around there, clean all the contact areas, get the grease off so to make sure there's no slippage on the collet so it sticks good once you put it on. Next I'm going to do the crankshaft threads so that obviously the nut sticks where the Loctite can work. I just clean all the oils off of there. And then you see there's play in the crankshaft back and forth. So I'm going to pull the crankshaft out and push the collet back. This is done to prevent the conrod and crankshaft from touching the back plate and causing damage inside your engine. And I'm going to do the uh, flywheel the same. The contact areas I'm going to clean with the motor spray and fold out paper towel just to make sure there's no oils or anything in between that would inhibit the, the stick of the, the flywheel to the collet. Again, I'm going to pull the crankshaft out and pull the flywheel back and make sure those are not, um, there's no play in there. And I'm going to do the same with the pipe cleaner again uh, with the nut. Make sure there's spray on the pipe cleaner and then work it through the nut to clean off all the greases and oils. And then just add a little bit of Loctite. And again, I'm going to pull the crankshaft out and pull the flywheel back and then put the nut on and screw the nut on. I'm going to put my wrench on, 3D printed wrench, and then tighten it down. You want to get this really tight because you don't want your flywheel coming loose, so make sure that's really tight. And then I'm going to go and clean the clutch pins off as well, where the threads are, so the Loctite can do its job again. So for the clutch, I have, um, for my clutch setup, I have uh, two different springs and shoes. So I'm going to match the shoes up that I need right now, and I'm going to put those two on and push a pin through, and then I'm going to add a little bit of Loctite on. Uh, for buggy and truck, I like the same clutch setup, which is two medium springs paired with two medium shoes, and two hard shoes paired with two soft springs. So. For this clutch, I'm going to put the two mediums on first, that way I don't get them mixed up, and then I'm going to put the two uh, soft sp uh, springs with hard shoes on, uh, on the opposite sides of course. Um, for buggy, I do have two different clutches I go with, cl setups I go with. I mainly use the same one as I do for truck, but if I need a softer one, I'll do all medium shoes and all medium springs. So you can see I repeat the process and put a little bit of Loctite on just, as, just before I screw the, the clutch pin in. So I can have everything lined up, apply Loctite, and then screw it in the rest of the way. So you just got to line this, the spring up with the little hole in the shoe. And then place the shoe in place, and then work, kind of wiggle the pin in, and it'll all line itself up. This is something, again, that makes... Um, your engine have, you can have a, a good amount of power and good runtime with the right clutch setup. So that's something you want to go to the track and try out for yourself, uh, figure out for your surface, whatever surface you're running on, uh, what engine you're running it on, just to make sure you have the best clutch setup uh, to fit your engine and track style. So this is another, this, like I said, this is another thing that can really improve your fuel mileage and your engine feel and power. So it's something you want to work at at the track and uh, make sure you have figured out. So next I'm going to clean out the, the clutch bell. This I'm going to clean out a couple times just to make sure there's no oil in because it's very important that there's no oil or anything on the bell itself because that will make your clutch slip and then uh, make the premature wear and not that performance good. So make sure that's nice and clean. And then next I'm going to clean out the bearings. So I like to spray out the bearings um, 
just kind of get a little bit of fluid in there, work them around, and then spray it till they're free. You can hold the inner race of the bearing and spray it. You can see this the flinging the spray off, so that's super free. These bearings don't need any grease in them or lube, because if there's lube in them, it will get into your clutch and will make your clutch slip, which again is not desirable because it it'll speed up the wear and not perform good. So you want to have those dry. A lot of people question that that having the bearings dry won't make them last as long, but the bearings really don't spin that much. They're most of the time you're driving, uh, so the clutch is engaged, so you don't actually have the bearings spinning. So you don't need a lot of lubrication, you just want them dry so your clutch can perform the proper, uh, the best that it can really. So what you saw there is me pushing down to make sure the clutch bell is not touching the flywheel or the shoes. So I put pressure on there to make sure that um, nothing touches or rubs. Then I'll add a little bit of a shim. You might need to do this, you might not need to, but for my engine you have to. So I got my screw in the washer. I'm gonna spray it off again with motor spray to make sure the threads are clean and the Loctite can work. And when I screw this together, uh, I'm gonna put some Loctite on the screw and then I'm gonna hold the flywheel with my hand this time only and then screw it as tight as I can with the wrench. Uh, it doesn't need to be super tight for this, it just needs to hold. And then, just so it has a little bit of play, check your shimmy again, it should have a tiny bit of play, but still spin free. Okay, so that's how I uh, assemble my clutch. Um, the clutch is very important uh, if it's not set up properly, or if it's um, hanging up, or not maintained properly, it can really affect your tune. Like if your car is running on in the air, um, your clutch is hanging up, it's not letting the, the self disengage and it'll make you think your engine's too lean when it's really the clutch or if your engine's bogging on the bottom end it could be engaging too soon and giving you a false sense that your engine is too lean on the bottom or whatever through the tuning when in reality it's just your clutch so making sure that this is properly maintained um, even um, if it's if it dies out in the track at really low idle it could be your clutch hanging up too and not letting the, it disengage and letting the motor idle properly so there's a lot of things that can seem like it's a tune but in reality it's the clutch setup or the maintenance of the clutch is not right. So that's it for the clutch video. Uh, stay tuned for the next video um, on the fuel system of the car. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.